I'm the 2012 Young Australian of the Year and I'm also the Founder and Executive Director of RoboGals Global. What we do is we aim to get girls interested in engineering and technology careers and tertiary studies and so we go out to schools with robots and teach girls how to build and program robots while telling them about engineering and all the different career pathways available through an engineering degree. And I suppose I founded this program because I was very passionate about robotics and, um, and I looked around my, my classroom and I didn't see many girls and I thought, you know, why not do something about this and make something happen? And today, um, as part of my talk, I'm actually speaking about robotics and, and how that will play a part in the future of work. So I'm covering uh, 3D printers, uh, telepresence robots, so having like a robot that represents you in another city or in another country, um, talking about home robots, uh, talking about robots in education. I mean, the Japanese, the other thing about them is they are an aging population um, and uh, and they need they need something around to do the manual labor because because you know, their population is too old to be able to do all the manual tasks and I think that's also a big driver in Japan of robotics. Yeah, so they have a religion there called animism where they believe that everything has a soul and um, and you know I guess that applies to them for robots as well. Whereas in the Western world we're like, oh that's a moving machine, that's scary, they're going to take over the world, they're going to kill us. Well, they, they probably don't know much about what's out there in terms of robotics and what's coming out in this space. So I thought, I'm going to take it upon myself to educate them about it, but then also bring that back to how it's going to change the future of work. And I think, um, and, and how I do that is actually quite a roundabout way. So I talk about these different, you know, seemingly very different um, spaces of robotics. But then I talk about technology and the internet age of the last 10 years, which has brought us eBay, which has brought us PayPal, which has brought us um, Kickstarter, which has brought us Indiegogo. People now have the, the freedom to crowdsource money to do projects that they're passionate about rather than pitching to um, scary men in suits. Um, people now have the freedom to travel around the world with their laptop and work from anywhere. And so how, how that relates to robotics is, well, we've got all these new technologies that are cheap enough for ordinary people to consume and um, to use in their own homes or in or in a small business uh, you know rather than it being these large companies that need to create new technologies we're giving that power to the consumer